We're on problem number 16 of the official guide 2015 version, problem solving section. So here we're trying to get the arithmetic mean or average. So first we have eight times 12 and three eighth plus four times 15 and one fourth over eight plus four. Now that this is equal to, let me draw this line. First of all, eight plus four is 12. And above we have 96 plus three plus 60 plus one. And as we said, a plus four equals 12. So then that equation equals to 99 plus 61 over 12. So we get 160 over 12. So if we divide both sides by four, we get three here and we get 40. So we get 40 over three. Now this is equal to 13 plus one third. So we get 13 and one third. So choice A is our answer. Now let's take a look at official guide 2016 PS number 21. The question states 1 minus 1 1.25 n equals 1. And this would be negative 0.25 n equals 1. So negative 1 over 4 n equals 1. So n will be negative 4. So the correct answer choice would be C. Next, we're on question number 17 of the problem solving section. So it's important to realize that decimal figures are harder to calculate than fractions. And fractions are harder to calculate than integers. So if you want to make the calculation simpler, you want to change the decimals into fractions or fractions into integers. So say we have 0.1 squared. This is equal to 1 tenth squared. Then this is equal to 1 squared over 10 squared. So which is 1 over 100. And this is 0 0.01. Now since there are two zeros in the denominator, you move two points to the right after the decimal point. Likewise, if you have 1.1 cubed, this is 1 over 10 cubed, and therefore this is 10 to the power of 3 for the denominator and 1 for the numerator. So we get 1 over 1,000, which is equal to 0 0.001. Since there are three zeros here, we moved three points after the decimal point. Now then, our question was 0.1 plus 0.1 squared plus 0.1 cubed. Now that we already got the values above, so 0.1 plus 0.01 plus 0.001. So overall, we get 0.111. And our answer is choice B. All right, let's go on to question number 18 from the official guide for GMAT 2015. So the original sandbox, let me draw this. We had this cube. And this cube will have a length and a width and a height and a capacity, which is L times W times H equaled 10. Now we're trying to make a new sandbox, which is twice as longer and wider and higher. So this is the new cube. 
and the new length is 2L because it's twice as long and the width is 2W and 2H. So what's the new capacity? It's 2L times 2W times 2H. So it's 8 times LWH. So it becomes 80. Now there's another way to solve these kind of problems. Now we're going to use the ratio here. First we're going to take the ratio of the length. And the cube of the ratio of the length becomes the ratio of the volume. Right, so what was the ratio of the length? It became twice as long, so the ratio of the length is 2. And 2 cubed is 8. So 8 times the original capacity. So the original capacity was 10. The new volume capacity becomes 8 times 10 equals 80. So there are two ways to solve these kind of problems. And the answer is choice D. Question number 19 from the official guide 2015 problem solving section. Now, originally when the bakery opened, they had 40 dozen rolls. Right, so let's call it DR. Now, by noon, they had sold half of the total quantity. So it's 40 times 1 half, which is 20. So they sold 20 dozen rolls by noon. And 80% of the remainder was sold between noon and closing. So until closing, they sold 20, which is the remainder, times 80%. So that is 16 dozen rolls. So how much did they sell in total? They sold 36 dozen rolls by closing. And so how many are remaining? 40 DR they started with minus 36 dozen rolls. And you're left with four dozen rolls. So the answer is choice D. Now this wasn't so difficult, but you're going to get a lot of questions similar to this asking for how many is remaining. Now let's take a look at Official Guide 2016 PS 25. From the question, you can see that 2x plus y equals 7, and x plus 2y equals 5. Then adding these two equations together, you get 3x plus 3y equals 12. Then 3 times x plus y equals 12. Then x plus y becomes what? 12 over 3, which is 4. Since the question asks what is x plus y over 3 is, so we get 4 over 3 as an answer 
And the correct answer choice would be B.